Welcome to Darspace. This is going to blow your mind. What if everything you believe about reality, about your life, about the very fabric of time, was wrong? What if the world you know isn't the only one that exists, or even the original one? There are questions that haunt us in the darkest corners of our minds, whispers of possibilities that challenge our understanding of the universe. For the next few minutes, we're going to go on a journey through these questions, exploring the farthest reaches of science and mystery. We'll talk about theories that suggest our timeline split more than a decade ago, about a molecule inside your own body that holds the secret to immortality, and about places on our planet where the laws of time seem to completely fall apart. These are topics that, at first glance might seem unconnected like, pieces from different nightmares or fever dreams. But I promise you, each of them, is closely connected, by a golden thread of mystery and a deep human desire to understand the truth, a truth that science is just beginning to uncover. Get ready, because this isn't just a video of fun facts, it's an invitation to question the very foundation of your existence. I ask you to keep an open mind, to let yourself doubt what you take for granted, because what you discover on this journey might not just surprise you, but it could change how you see the world and yourself forever. Come with me to pull back the veil. The year 2012. For many it was a year of doomsday prophecies fueled by ancient calendars and a growing shared fear. The world we were told, would end. But December 21st came and went, the sun rose, life went on, or did it? What if the end of the world wasn't a bang but a whisper, a change so subtle we barely noticed it, like a note changing in a universal song? This is where one of the most fascinating and unsettling theories of our time comes from. The theory says that in 2012 humanity, or maybe the whole universe went through a huge event that basically ended our reality as we knew it. It wasn't an asteroid or a nuclear war. The cause, according to this idea, might have been something we created with our own science, the Large Hadron Collider, or CERN. This huge machine, built to uncover the secrets of the Big Bang, might have done something more, it might have opened a door. Imagine for a moment the power that's let loose in the heart of CERN. Tiny particles, the basic building blocks of everything, are sped up to almost the speed of light and smashed into each other. In those crashes, for a split second, the conditions of the universe at its birth are made again. But what else is made in that mix of pure energy? The theory suggests that in one of these crashes, a tiny black hole or a strange space-time event was created that pushed us off course. We didn't die in the usual way, instead our shared awareness was moved without us even knowing, to a parallel reality. A reality almost the same as ours with the same people, the same places, the same history, almost. Because in this new universe there are small flaws in the system. Small differences, mistakes in how things connect that show something isn't quite right. It's an echo of a world that no longer exists. This event has been named the Mandela Effect. The name comes from the common belief that Nelson Mandela died in prison in the 1980s, a memory shared by thousands of people that is however, historically wrong. He died free in 2013. Is it just a simple mistake of shared memory, or is it proof that in the original timeline he did die in prison? Think about the details of your own life in popular culture. Do you remember Pikachu with a black tip on his tail? He never had one. And the Looney Tunes logo? Many would swear it was spelled Looney Tunes, it's not. And the man with the monocle in the Monopoly game? He never existed. They are small details yes but their lasting presence in the memories of millions is what is so unsettling. Skeptics call it making things up, the brain's tendency to fill in gaps in memory. But for those who believe this theory, it's much more. It's the leftover proof, the signs of an earlier reality that are leaking into ours. They are the ghosts of a world we left behind, reminding us that our home is no longer what it was. We are living in a copy, a slightly changed version of the original. What if the world really changed in 2012? And what if that strange feeling you sometimes have, that sense of deja vu, that feeling that things aren't as they should be, isn't just your imagination? Could it be a deep feeling, a cell memory that we don't quite belong here? The question makes us look at the world with different eyes. Science, through quantum physics tells us that the idea of many universes isn't just science fiction. The many worlds interpretation suggests that every choice, every quantum event, creates a new branch in the tree of reality. Endless universes existing together, each with a slightly different version of history. Is it so crazy to think that we might have jumped from one branch to another? CERN, for its part, keeps doing its experiments, pushing the limits of what we know. Every new crash is like rolling cosmic dice. Are they just finding the universe's secrets, or are they playing with the very strings that keep us tied to this reality? The possibility is as scary as it is exciting. Maybe there's no way to prove it. We can't go back, we can't compare this reality with the one we supposedly lost. We only have these small flaws, these shared memories that don't fit, like puzzle pieces that belong to another box. They are clues that make us wonder, to question how solid the ground under our feet is. The idea that we live in a second reality brings up deep questions about who we are and what we remember. If your memories aren't completely trustworthy, who are you really? Are you the same person you were before 2012, or are you a copy with memories put in from another you? The line between what's real and what's remembered becomes dangerously blurry, 
So next time you remember something differently than it is, stop for a moment, don't just brush it off as a simple mistake, ask yourself if it could be something more, an echo, a ghost in the machine, a whisper of a world that was once ours and that maybe, somewhere in the huge multiverse, still is. Since the beginning of time, humanity has dreamed of an elixir, a fountain of youth, a philosopher's stone, anything that could stop time's relentless march on our bodies. We've looked for immortality in myths, in religions, and in legends, but what if the answer isn't in some mystical place or a magic formula? What if the key to endless life is right now inside every one of your cells? Science has shown us an amazing secret, a biological mystery that changes how we understand aging. At the ends of our chromosomes like the plastic tips on shoelaces there are structures called telomeres. Every time one of our cells divides to fix our body to keep us alive, these telomeres get a little bit shorter. They are the biological clock of each cell. This constant shortening is the main reason for what we call cell aging, or simply, getting old. When telomeres get too short, the cell can't divide safely anymore. It either goes to sleep, or destroys itself. This process, happening trillions of times throughout our body, is what causes wrinkles, weak bones, and losing our abilities. It's the unstoppable march towards death. But here's where the story takes an amazing turn. There's an enzyme, a miracle molecule called telomerase. Its only job is to fix and lengthen telomeres. It is, in simple terms, the enzyme of cell immortality. It has the power to rewind the biological clock, to give the cell back its youth and its ability to divide forever. And the most amazing thing is that you already have it inside you. Telomerase is very active in our cells during embryo development, allowing the huge growth that forms us in the womb. It's also found in certain adult stem cells, and worryingly, in most cancer cells, which gives them their scary ability to grow forever. But in most of our body cells, the cells that make up our tissues and organs, telomerase is turned off. Imagine what that means. The immortality switch is there, sleeping, in our own genetic code. Nature decided to turn it off, maybe as a defense against cancer, or for evolutionary reasons we don't fully understand yet. We have lived and died for thousands of years without knowing we carried the key to stop the process. You already have it inside. It just needs to be turned on. Scientists around the world are in a race to figure out how to safely turn telomerase back on. It's not an easy task. Turning it on without control could lead to cells growing out of control, which means cancer. The challenge is to find a way to turn it on just enough to fix the damage from time, to keep our bodies in a state of endless balance. Let's think about what this means. It wouldn't just be about living longer but about living better. To reach 100, 150 or 200 years with the energy of a 30-year-old. Age-related diseases like Alzheimer's, osteoporosis or heart disease could become things of the past. It would be the biggest change in the history of medicine and humanity. But this power comes with huge philosophical and ethical questions. If we could live forever, what would it mean to be human? Our society, our relationships, our idea of time, everything is built on the fact that we will die. Getting rid of death would change the very core of our existence. Who would get this technology? Only the rich? Would we create a new class of immortal people? The mystery isn't just scientific but also about our very existence. Why did nature give us this tool and then hide it? Is it a leftover from an earlier state of biology or a promise of a possible future? Some researchers think that certain habits like deep meditation or a special diet might slightly affect telomerase activity, which could explain why some people age much slower than others. The search to turn on telomerase is more than just scientific research. It's the modern version of the search for the holy grail. It's humanity's attempt to control its own biological destiny, to go beyond the limits nature put on us. It's an act of rebellion against death itself. Every day, in labs around the world, small steps are being made, compounds are tested, genes are studied, and the ways that keep telomerase silent are being figured out. We are on the edge of a cliff, looking towards a future that could be totally different from anything we've known, a future without aging. The next time you look in the mirror and see the signs of time, remember this inside you at the heart of each of your cells, a giant sleeps, an enzyme with the power to turn back the clock. It's not a myth, it's not a legend, it's a biological fact. The question is no longer if we can reach immortality but if we are ready for what happens when we unleash it. Time. We think of it as a constant, a river that never stops flowing in just one direction, carrying us all from birth to death. We measure its passing with amazing accuracy, from the tick-tock of a clock to the vibration of a cesium atom. But what if this idea was wrong? What if there are places on our own planet where the river of time stops forming pools of quiet? There are hidden spots on Earth, cut off from the outside world for millions of years, where the rules seem to be different. Think about deep caves, underground systems that are like geological time capsules. An amazing example is Movile Cave in Romania, sealed off from the outside world for five and a half million years. Its air is toxic to us, full of hydrogen sulfide and carbon dioxide, but it's a paradise for a special ecosystem of creatures that have never seen sunlight. These creatures have grown up in complete darkness and isolation. They are blind, pale, and built for a world without time, without day, or night. Their bodies work incredibly slowly, a way to deal with not having much food. They live their lives at a slow, almost frozen pace. 
For them does time flow the same way it does for us on the surface, or is their time reality completely different stretched out and slowed down? Now let's take this idea even further, there are stories often just legends, about explorers and adventurers who go into far off places and have strange time issues. Stories of people who go into a hidden valley or an old cave and what feels like a few hours to them, only to come out and find that days, weeks or even years have passed in the outside world. One of the most interesting cases is the Cueva de los Tayos in Ecuador, a place full of mystery, said to hold not only lost treasures but also strange events. Explorers who have gone deep inside have talked about a strange feeling of being lost in time, a loss of knowing how much time has passed. They went in and came out the same, but something changed. That sentence captures the main idea of the mystery. Physically they might look the same, but how they see things, their connection to the normal flow of time, has been messed with. It's like they stepped out of the main river and into a calm spot where the water barely moves. When they go back to the main flow the difference in speed is jarring, almost impossible to understand. What could cause such things? Regular science might look for answers in how the mind works, getting lost because of no senses in total darkness, the lack of outside things that help us keep track of time. Or maybe in geology, strange magnetic fields or lots of certain minerals that could affect how the brain works. But these explanations don't seem good enough for some of the wilder stories. However, theoretical physics gives us more unusual possibilities. Einstein's theory of relativity taught us that time isn't fixed. It can bend and stretch because of gravity. A super strong pull of gravity like from a black hole, can slow down time almost to a stop. Could there be tiny gravity weird spots on Earth, places where space-time is unusually thick? Imagine a pocket in the fabric of space-time, a local twist caused by a huge amount of unknown stuff deep inside the Earth's crust. Going into a cave that cuts through this strange spot would be like going down into a gravity well. Time for you would slow down a lot compared to the outside world. You could spend a day exploring but when you come out, you find that a century has passed outside. This idea, even if it's just a guess, doesn't break any known laws of physics, it just pushes them to their limits. It makes us think that our planet might hold much deeper mysteries than we can imagine. That there are not just isolated ecosystems but maybe also pockets of isolated time. Places where Earth's present meets an incredibly slow past. These places are living proof that how we experience time is personal and can change. In Mobile Cave, biological time has slowed down for millions of years. In the legends of Cueva de los Tayos, the time people feel doesn't match the outside world. Both cases show us that the constant ticking of the clock is something we made up, a helpful rule but not a basic truth of the universe. Maybe these places aren't weird, maybe they are windows into the true nature of time, not as a straight line but as a complex landscape with hills and valleys, fast rivers and calm lakes, and most of the time we just travel across the flat parts, not knowing about the hills and valleys around us. Next time you feel like time is flying or dragging, think that it might be more than just a feeling, it could be an echo of the real and strange nature of the fourth dimension. And remember that somewhere, in the silent dark depths of our own planet, there are places where time, literally, seems to have stopped to wait. We've traveled through broken realities, we've looked inside our own cells searching for eternal life and we've gone down to places where time itself seems to give up. Each stop on this journey has given us a piece of a much bigger puzzle, the puzzle of reality. And you, do you think reality is as we see it? Or is it, as these ideas suggest, something much stranger, more fluid and more mysterious than we dare to imagine? Maybe the truth isn't one single solid answer but a mosaic of possibilities. Maybe we live in a new timeline holding the key to forever inside us on a planet dotted with time weirdness. Science gives us tools to explore these questions but it's our curiosity, our sense of wonder and our bravery to question everything that truly pushes us forward in the search for truth. The universe is a mirror, and maybe what we've been seeing is just a broken reflection, the journey doesn't end here, these questions are just the beginning. We want to know what you think. Do you think the world changed in 2012? Would you dare to activate the fountain of youth inside you? What would you do if you found a place where time stops? Leave your thoughts in the comments and join the conversation. And if you want to keep pulling back the curtain on the universe's biggest mysteries, subscribe and turn on notifications. There's so much more to discover together. This video was super epic but if you think this one was amazing, the previous video will blow your mind. From Darspace, until next time.